It may seem confusing, but heart failure is not the same thing as a heart attack. The job of the heart is to take in the blood, pump the blood out, take in the blood, pump the blood out. If it fails to do either one of those things correctly, either doesn't fail correctly or empty correctly, then we call it heart failure. There are a couple of reasons for the heart not working properly. Two-thirds of them, the problem is the heart is enlarged and weak, not pumping well. One-third of them, actually, their heart's strong, pumps perfectly well, but it's stiff and won't fill up, sort of like, um, like a new balloon. When you take a new balloon out of the package, you have to blow really hard into it because it's stiff. Your heart may be struggling now if you are tired and gasp for breath just walking short distances. Waking up at night short of breath, they go to bed, they feel fine, then they wake up in the middle of the night smothering. Sometimes as their bodies retain fluid because the heart's not pumping the blood to their kidneys well, then they gain weight and their ankles start to swell. Those are probably the more common things. Swelling is a sign of congestive heart failure. When the, the heart's not pumping the blood to the kidneys, then the kidneys thus are not making urine the way they're supposed to. And then fluid starts backing up everywhere. And organs become congested. So just if you have a sinus infection, your sinuses are, are congested. Your lungs can become congested, your liver congested, your intestines congested. So what brings this all on? Actually, in some countries, it's infection. But in our country, it's blocked heart arteries. And the next most common cause is high blood pressure. Those account for way the, the majority of cases. But then there's other things. You can have problems with your heart valves, either because you were born with an abnormal heart valve or you got an infection on your valve. And alcohol can do it, drugs can do it, diabetes. Living well is so important because once the damage is done, the odds for a full recovery are slim. For most cases, there is not a cure. There are some rare cases that actually totally will resolve. Sometimes a virus can attack the heart, cause terrible heart failure, and the people will recover from that and, and they'll, over a period of three to six months, maybe a year, their hearts will heal and really be back to normal. Doctors usually prescribe medications the patient may have to take for the rest of their lives. Pacemakers can also keep the heart pumping. So most pacemakers and people that we know who have pacemakers, they pretty much are designed to keep the heart from going too slow. So if it beats too slow, the pacemaker kicks in and speeds it back up. And then there are those pacemakers that can do that, but in addition, if you get a, get a dangerous heart rhythm that might be lethal, they can shock your heart back into a good rhythm. But in addition to that, there is a, a three-wire pacemaker that does all those things but additionally will actually strengthen your heart. An implantable pump is another option that serves as a bridge to a transplant. An aerobic exercise can even strengthen the heart, so you won't become a heart failure statistic. It's the only aspect of cardiovascular disease, and when I say that I mean heart attacks, strokes, blocked leg arteries. It's the only aspect of cardiovascular disease that's on the rise in this country. 500,000 new cases of heart failure are reported each year. Doctors say the trick is to use our time here wisely by exercising and eating right and not putting off testing and treatment.